What is up, Ninja Nation? It is time for another fun, filthiest pitches of the day. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button because you are not going to want to miss all the interviews and content that we'll have during this season. We're going to start with some starters. Logan Gilbert of the Mariners was overpowering and dominant yesterday. What jumped out to me was how nasty his changeup was. Gilbert has recently been getting some advice from Jacob deGrom, specifically about throwing glove sides, so who knows, this could be a real big breakout season for him. Tony Gonsolin, that crazy cat man, was dominant for the Dodgers, and his splitter, split change, looked in mid-season form. That is such a great pitch. Speaking of splitters, Casey Mize seems to have found his again, And when Mize's splitter is working, it is a long day for hitters. I am a big fan of Casey Mize's stuff. Mitch Keller kicked his velo game up a notch by working out this offseason at Tread Athletics and touched 100 in this game. His average fastball on the day, 98 miles an hour, which is about 3 miles an hour faster than all of 2021. Now on to some relief pitchers. Jake Cousins slider... Well, that is a filthy pitch, and here are a couple nasty ones. Andrew Kittredge struck out the side on a White Castle special. For those who don't know what that is, that's three disgusting sliders. What I love about how Kittredge throws is it looks like he's lulling the hitter to sleep, and then, boom, it's right on you. And speaking of right on you, Edwin Diaz was back with his 100-mile-an-hour fastball and six sliders. And I just love this up-and-in fastball from Diaz at 100 miles an hour. Watch your lips. I also love watching Diaz's mechanics. I mean, check this out in slow motion. Watch his back foot as he almost leaps at hitters. And that, combined with his elite hip rotation, well, you can see why the dude throws 100. As far as overpowering closers, well, I don't think any are as overpowering as Josh Hader. Hader has faced... Six hitters this spring and K'd each and every one of them. Alex Wood commented on Hater's fastball. That's not a fastball. It's more like a freight train. What's even better is listening to Brent Suter do play-by-play while Josh Hater is pitching as Jim Carrey. I can certainly try to do my best. <laughs> Here's Josh Hater with a 1-2 count. That's an 82-mile-an-hour nasty slider. Dude is freaking hilarious. Although my favorite Brent Suter moment is when he tripped in the middle of his windup and I ended up comparing him to Simone Biles, which got retweeted by the legend Simone Biles. But Pitching Ninja's filthiest pitch of the day goes to Aaron Nola. Nola had back-to-back two-seamers that ran 22 and 21 inches. And you can see Daniel Vogelback thinking that it was going to hit him in the tummy and they end up right over the middle of the plate. Filthy, filthy stuff from Aaron Nola. And I'll leave you with this bonus clip of Shohei Otani imitating Jacob deGrom. Talk about real recognize real. That is Gotani and DeGote. 